everyone, so this is Kiki, MCP IGP of ISAC in Malaysia. Um, so right now, I want to show you how can you track the standard implementation of your uh, EP. And then you can know uh, if the EP already filled the survey uh, and they filled all of the standards or not. And you can track how many complete, completes that you have in your um, entity and how to actually uh, start to uh, providing standards to your EP so your EP can be completed. The first thing that you need to do is you can open application analytics on XPA and you can fill out your committee here and then the custom range that you want to see of your EP's uh, status right now. So for now, I will put uh, for the month of August and this is the result. Um, so I will try to open one of the LC. Uh, I will try to open uh, LC UPM and the thing that I want to emphasize here is to click on finish because uh, finish is they already finished their experience and they only need to fill the survey uh, for them to transform it to complete so you can click on finish and then in here you can see um, the name of the EPs that is uh, finish the experience or realize in the entity. So you can see right here uh, some of the EPs they already filled the survey. So when the status is um, 16 and uh, 16 from 16, it means that they already they already fill all of the standard survey, and it will be counted as completed even though they are not filling the MPS response. So completed will be calculated if the EPs already fill all of this uh, standard survey. If you want to know the more detail of uh, what is the survey that uh, the EP field, you can click on Show SNS. So if you cl click here, you can see um, the standards that the EP field that they feel is already implemented. So for this EP right, uh, they are counted as completed because uh, they fill the standards as uh, 16 standards. I want to give you another example. So for this EP, it will be not calculated as complete uh, because uh, even though they are already finished the experience, uh, they f uh, they don't uh, fill all of the standards uh, into fulfilled. So uh, they don't fill accommodation and working hours. For this state, uh, the EP isn't uh, recorded as complete because they say that uh, the standards are not fulfilled. But the thing that you can do is, because they haven't filled all of the 16 standards, so you can see they haven't filled the brief with Isaac Home and the Porter support. So in this state, you can still change um, the fulfillment of standards implementation. So from here, you can start to contact your EP and set an expectation on how they can uh, fill the standards to be more concrete based on the project. So the thing that I want to show right now is how can we use this data and put it into the standards tracker. Why are we want to use the standards tracker? But this standards tracker can be helpful for you uh, if you want to track your EPs in certain peak and then uh, create a report of how many uh, how standards how many standards are lacking in your entity and your project. And then you can also use the use this data um, to show it to your IR partners to increase um, the standards delivery between OGX and ICX in your entity. Uh, I want to give an example. So uh, this is uh, the EP from UPM. So I already put it here. You can put uh, the name of the EP, the country, so you can track to the IR partners. And then, uh, for example, uh, for this uh, GIE Sun, uh, the status is realized because um, it uh, he she feel like. Um, the working hour is not uh, completed, so uh, it will not be counted as completed. And for this, um, you need to see, you need to fill all of this um, form to be it shown uh, in the end of the formula to be completed. So for this, uh, for example, this first EP, uh, all of them is yes, so uh, it will automatically um, track as completed. And also you can fill this NPS tracker where you can click show NPS and then you can know the result of the NPS score of the EP.
and then you can also put it in the IGV standard tracker or OGV standard tracker that you have. Yeah, um, so why I want to emphasize that you need to use this tracker to actually track your EP because it is easier and you can showcase it to our partners to show and increase the collaboration between entity to entity and to give the best experience to the EP um, that you deliver uh, in incoming side and also outgoing side. If you have any more questions, you can ask uh, me and also Benjamin from OGV side. And we really want to deliver the best experience through IP, not only during the realization, but also when they back home and they promote our experience to their friends. So goodbye, everyone.